I'm meteorologist Brian Peters with a look at Alabama weather with your weather extreme video for April the 29th. There's a look at the satellite image. We're taking a little bit bigger look because uh, there's a lot of weather going on, just not over the southeastern U.S. As you can see, uh, there is a lot of thunderstorms all the way from the Texas panhandle and West Texas all the way up uh, into Pennsylvania and just off the uh, coast of New York. Radar shows uh, we can see some of that on the regional view. And uh, looking at the uh, watch warning map, you can really get uh, the implications of the storm system. We've got uh, all the green and uh, red areas and kind of um, uh, sort of uh, not quite pinkish areas. Those are all uh, flash flood uh, watches as well as some severe weather watches. The uh, pinks and purples that you see over parts of uh, western uh, the uh, western Oklahoma panhandle, western uh, Kansas, and parts of Colorado and northeastern New Mexico, those are all winter weather advisories. Uh, the situation is a surface low over um, uh, north central Texas with a, a surface high over the Atlantic. Uh, the pressure gradient between the two is tightening up over the southeastern U.S., so that has resulted in wind advisories for much of Mississippi and Alabama. Uh, as well as sections uh, of West Tennessee as well. Temperatures this morning very mild with uh, readings uh, when I took this chart around 6 a.m., uh, basically in the lower 70s. Storm Prediction Center has a large area of enhanced risk uh, ahead of that surface system, stretching from uh, eastern Texas across parts of uh, Arkansas and uh, southeastern Oklahoma into southeastern Missouri, and then that, that's surrounded, of course, with a slight risk. For day two, the slight risk does include uh, much of uh, the eastern two-thirds of Alabama, nearly all the state of, Al of Mississippi, as well as parts of uh, western Tennessee and uh, all the surrounding states, including a little sliver of Arkansas and Louisiana. A little bit closer look, you can see that it does encompass just about two-thirds of the state of Alabama, uh, basically the western two-thirds. The big news besides the severe weather threat is also that we're going to have a good deal of rain. Uh, over the next uh, seven days, really. This is the five-day uh, forecast through Thursday morning. So it's picking up uh, the rain that's likely Sunday night into Monday as well as what may come Wednesday night into Thursday. And it's suggesting on the order of two to four inches across the northern half of the state of Alabama. And while can use more rain because of the drought conditions remaining uh, in the severe category. All right, let's get to the modeling this morning. We've got a lot of stuff to talk about. So there's the uh, surface low uh, over north central uh, uh, Texas and south uh, central Oklahoma uh, with all the weather going on with that. In the upper atmosphere, uh, today we see at midday the, the closed low over New Mexico with a very deep trough over that area with the ridge bulging up across the eastern uh, third of the country, and that's keeping things rather warm. The uh, closed low comes out of New Mexico into, uh, let's just say, uh, central Kansas uh, on Sunday. And as it does, the surface low moves up into northeastern Kansas with the uh, cold front uh, uh, swinging out along the Mississippi River Valley down into the Gulf of Mexico. We're going to take some intermediate times. There is uh, 1 a.m. on Monday morning, and the front is uh, definitely crossing into Alabama at that point. So it looks like the biggest threat for severe weather is going to come then. Uh, Cape values uh, about uh, uh, 10 p.m. Uh, are basically fairly uh, substantial uh, with readings in that gray over 500. And the sounding also uh, suggests that uh, we may see the possibility of tornadoes. It looks like the main threat is going to be that of damaging wind with a squall line, but tornadoes embedded in that squall line are a possibility. And helicity values are definitely up there. Everything over uh, the yellow into the yellow is over 200 when it gets into those uh, reds. And into the purples, you're getting up into uh, around the 400 to 450 range. So definitely a severe weather uh, potential with the primary threat of squall line and embedded tornadoes. Uh, Monday midday, the closed low has reached uh, Wisconsin, and uh, that means that the surface low is uh, up there also in Wisconsin, and the cold front is swinging into Georgia by this time. So by uh, Monday, everything, or by uh, late morning and into early afternoon Monday, things should be improving nicely. Uh, the big uh, upper closed low moves into Canada, and our pattern begins to uh, flatten out a little on Tuesday 
We see a little bit of a ridging on Wednesday as the next system is coming into the Southern Rockies there and coming into the Texas Panhandle. And that's going to warm things up a little bit on uh, Wednesday as we begin to get a good uh, surface flow out of the south once again as a new surface low forms over northeast Texas. That closed low and trough uh, continues to dig into southeastern Oklahoma on Thursday. So that's going to be another day with thunderstorms for us uh, as the surface low moves over into uh, the vicinity of about Tupelo, centered near Tupelo. So it looks like a possibility that we'll see severe storms then. The SPC is not outlooking anything right now simply because of the differences in the models. And you can see on the European, the European uh, is much further to the uh, north and northeast with the surface low having it over Ohio instead of over uh, Tupelo uh, and the front progressing along a little bit further. So model differences preclude confidence enough to uh, outlook a slight risk area, but we got to keep in mind that that's a possibility. That closed low uh, comes across the Mississippi River in the upper atmosphere on Friday, so it's going to be, a, a, I think, another wet day, really. So stormy weather on Thursday, and then we stay uh, cloudy and wet on uh, Friday, and that closed low finally makes it over into about northwest Georgia on Saturday, so that should uh, allow for some improving conditions for us, though we may stay mostly cloudy for much of the day. Uh, it may help with the trough axis being to our uh, east, it may help to improve the weather. Looking quickly out into voodoo country, and uh, that closed low actually sticks around over the southeastern U.S. from Saturday all the way through Tuesday. Uh, so as it meanders, it could be a bit of some unsettled weather. Finally, though, it finally kicks out around uh, the 13th of May as we begin to come more under a ridge, and that would certainly allow us to warm up some. That'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. I expect to have the next one posted first thing on, on uh, Sunday morning. Stay tuned to the blog for notes on Alabama's weather. And don't forget, we'll be at Celebrate Hoover today at Veterans Park, so come by and say hello. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Have a great day and Godspeed.